Where is everyone? Nah, I'm just joking. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys what it's like at Skiji Market after the move. So a lot of you guys have asked me, is the Skiji Fish Market still here? Well, look behind me, it still is. This is the Jogai, which is the outside fish market, and it's still in full bloom. The Jonai side, where they actually do the auctions, has moved to Toyosu. So this is the first time I've come here since the move, which was two days ago. I've heard that some of the shops have closed down, and I've heard some of the shops are still here. I don't really know, so I'm excited to show you guys what's really going on here. Let's do this. After 83 long years on October 11th, 2018, the world's largest fish market, Skiji, has finally moved to Toyosu. But luckily for us diehard street food lovers, the outer part of the fish market remains intact and is as lively with people as ever. Alright, so let's first check out what's still here so you guys can refer to my previous Skiji fish market video for my top recommendations. Kitsune is still here. Crab stick still here. Shumai is still steaming. The Maguro sand is still here. Marutake egg still here. The oysters are still here. The gukats is still frying. Inari is still fresh. And the uni bun is here. As you can see, nothing's really changed as far as the street food goes. And I couldn't stop by the Skiji street food market with having one of my favorites, the uni bun. Look at that delicious treasure. Oh, I'm so excited. I've done this so many times, but I get excited every time. Look at that creamy goodness inside. It's so good. This is like my favorite steam bun in the world. If I had to choose one steam bun, this would be it. What's nice is you have puni on top, and then you also have uni cream on the bottom. And the squid ink one is the best. Alright, let me just go see if I can still see the Jonai side from over here. Just like going around the outside of the market. So this is the Jonai side right behind me. As you can see, it's just all closed down. And then just right there was like the oldest Yoshinoya ever. And now it's all gone, unfortunately. Oh, it's so sad. Like last time we were here, I filmed the intro just over there. And we can't even go there anymore. And I found this new tuna skewer shop. The shopkeeper will even flame broil the tuna right after you place the order. Look how delicious that looks. You just grilled it with a torch just now. Mmm, you can smell the black pepper. Let's take our first bite. Oh wow, the tuna meat is so tender. And like the little strands just come off. Wow, that's like the, one of the softest tuna I've ever had. That's so good, like still has all of the oils that are inside of the tuna and it just comes out in that first bite. This shop is actually new as of this week and I didn't know if I was gonna introduce it to you guys because I've actually had some grilled tuna before and it doesn't come out so good, it's really like dry. But this is super moist and definitely worth a taste when you come here. That's so crazy. He has full trays of dried squid and he just like keeps on putting more and more. So after walking around, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of new shops that have come about. After talking to some of the workers, what they've told me is that after the move two days ago, there's a lot of shops that have closed down, but there's not a lot of new shops that have come in their place. The workers say that it may take another two, three, maybe four months for shops to fill in. But in any case, you guys can watch my previous Skiji Fish Market Street Food video. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, I wish we could have just like seen more street food, but I'm still sticking to my top 10 that we've had before. So I'm actually having trouble finding new shops to show you guys, but let's go to Toyosu and check out what's there. Maybe I can show you something over there instead. So, Toyosu Fish Market is about 3 kilometers away from Skiji, a 30 minute walk or a 10 minute ride by taxi. It's huge and it contains 3 main buildings, a wholesale fish market for merchants, a fish market for intermediary buyers, and a building for vegetables and fruits market. Look, everyone's here, even the TV crews. So as you can see, even on the first day of the Toyosu market opening, it's quite busy. But it seems like there's more restaurants here than there's actually street food spots. In the other building, I saw a lot of popular stores that were previously in the inner market, like Sushi Dai, Iwasa Sushi, Tonkatsu Odayasu, and Nakae Curry. Most restaurants are in these two buildings, and although the new shops look amazing and well-designed, they just don't feel like a part of history anymore. 
So I've made it to the fifth floor of the roof and there's nothing here but it's just like a wide open space. So weird. I don't know what you're supposed to do here. Like you're supposed to just like run around or I guess if you get tired of the fish and like all the smells and stuff you just like come up here and get some fresh air. Oh, whatever. Still pretty dope though. Check out this rooftop. It's all grass and you can see all of Tokyo just beyond me. There's Tokyo Tower just right over there. There's Rainbow Bridge just right over there. Wow. This is the observation area. So this is a little bit different than the Skiji Fish Market. We're on the second floor and they have glass here, but you can actually see down into the auction before people be, would be walking around and like walking through the auction itself. But this time they have places where people can watch from the second floor. It was quite dangerous before, but this is like, this is really like takes care of all the people walking through. Everything is so clean and sterile, which is probably a good thing in terms of safety, but it's kind of just missing that raw experience of being right in the middle of the market when compared to the old one. Well, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, as you guys can see, the street food game at Skiji Fish Market is still on point. If you like this video, help me out and hit that like button. If you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or Japan, hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.